about as good as a liar's word. We know each other most every night, but wound up in your bed come the morning light. Driving to the beach at 2 a.m. Serving drunks that pull it on back again. Oh, mama, have you heard? I'm about as gay as a liar's word. Oh, mama, have you heard? I'm about as gay as a liar's word. That's a week up to no good Teenagers playing house in Hollywood I tried my best to settle down And you started dreaming about a wedding gown
have you heard? I'm about as good as a liar's word. Oh, mama, have you heard? I'm about as good as a liar's word. Sticks and stones. You made it clear where I could go. In the hallway, all alone. I always wind up on my own. Sat outside your bedroom door. Picking glass off the floor. Take all you want, then take some more. I'm on keeping score Well, you know what we become And it's blaming you for everyone So if you're thinking about moving on Then your heart's already gone Well, you said my temper's cruel Well, where you where does that leave you? I keep my finger on the truth So make any threat you want What can you take that you ain't got Call your lawyer, call the cop All you want is what you're not Well, you know what we become You're thinking about moving on Then your heart's already gone No apologies left to Sorrows on these lips. I didn't mean to hurt you, but I did. Lying's easy when truth quits. So push your soul home off a cliff and watch the world crash into it. I reach for your hand, but I found a fist. We can't take much more of this. We become and there's blame enough for everyone. So if you're thinking about moving on, then your heart's already gone. Then your heart's already gone. Then your heart's already gone. to believe it but on the way out so she'd be back in a couple hours left the smokes on the kitchen counter now I'm living without her well, everybody knows that the girl won't last forever but she comes and goes Oh, 
through town Checked out her favorite balls like a lost and found But she just wasn't around Now I never doubt how she pulled away Let me a little more feet every day In the dark and praying Well everybody knows That the girl won't last forever she comes and goes, but she never tells. Singing like a petty in a wishing well. Everybody knows that the girl's already gone. But she never tell Singing like a penny and a wishing well Well, everybody knows That the girl's already gone Girl's already gone Girl's already gone Girl's already gone Help you with your back. Don't forget to take your care. Cancel all your magazine. Through with all your crazy scene. Lady, I thought you'd never leave. Put my feet up on the couch. Play all my records way too loud I bet you throw it up big and please And get down on my knees Baby, I thought you'd never leave You're coming round again Don't try to move your share back in I had everything I need Slept in every day this week But lady, I thought you'd never leave I pick up where I please Wipe my face all with my sleeve The lady I thought you'd never leave Yeah, have Moon Bay, how you doing tonight? Like, you know, I don't think I've ever been here. And not just to this club, to Half Moon Bay, period. How the fuck did that happen? I used to live right up the street. I've been missing this all these 52 years. I never knew. But we won't make that mistake again. We won't make the mistake of having never been here before. That's a mistake we're not gonna make. You guys having a good time tonight? You want to get a little psychedelic? All right, this one's called Blow Out the Candles. I'm alone 
alone if I'm now with you. Through the phone, I'm a distant echo. Crashing through the sky to you. Crashing through the sky to you. Sitting at your piano I held your hand in your blue spit too Spilled your wine red on the carpet A beautiful girl that I once knew Beautiful girl that I once knew Come on baby please Celebrate your birthday with me Let your fingers twirl I let the frost and kiss the girl Blow out the candles and burn down the whole fucking world Let's drink before we change our minds Well, I'll spend my whole life just building fences Take a chance and tear them down this time Take a chance and tear them down this time Well, come on, baby, please Candles and burn. Blow out the candles and burn. Blow out the candles and burn down the whole fucking world. Thank you. Hey, Dave, I could use a little bit more of Fox's vocal. Oh, Robert says he could too. You know, I could use a little bit more of Fox's vocal. I could use a little bit more of his bass guitar in my ears as well. Just a smidge, just a little smidge. All right, were any of you guys around in the 90s? The go-go 90s? See, in 1995, I moved up to San Francisco with my friend Joey, and he helped me get a job at this record label called Fat Records that at that time was kind of the epicenter of the scene that I fucking loved, you know what I mean? And, and I was like a young-ish dude trying to like make it and trying to, I wanted to join a band. I'd never really been in a band that anybody gave a shit about, you know what I mean? And I was working in there for a couple of weeks, and Fat Mike came, or the, a band on the label, this band No Use For A Name came in. Does anybody, anybody remember No Use For A Name? They're not, far, not too far away, they're just over here in San Jose. You know what I mean? I'm pointing there, I don't know where, which way San Jose actually is. Is that my getting close? All right. If I see, I knew. Anyway, they're from San Jose and they came into the office one day and I was sitting there like doing my job. My job, by the way, was to call record stores and make sure they had No Use For A Name records in stock. And in walk, no use for a name. And they're like, fuck, our guitar player just quit. And we got to go on tour on fucking Monday. And this was like Thursday. What are we going to do? And Mike comes out. He's like, does anybody know a guitar player? We need a guitar player. I was sitting there going, fuck. I really want. I was like, my eyes were popping out of my fucking head. But I just didn't say anything. So I was like, I just got this job. It's a pretty good job. I don't want to fuck it up. You know what I mean? Oh, so I didn't say shit. And they left, and I was like, oh, schnarfles. So I'm the missed opportunity. Somebody else is gonna get my gig. And, uh, and Mike came over after they left, and he was like, what are you doing, man? I know you play guitar. Why don't you just put your hand up? 
you should play guitar with them. I was like, really? He's like, yeah, you just want to fucking bloop and just put me in that band. And we left for fucking, I drove down to San Jose that Monday and we left for tour. Yeah. Got in that fucking van. And I got a taste of van life in my mouth for good. And it never left me. You can see my van's parked right out back there. But this song, I wrote this song particularly about those days and what it felt like to be on a van tour in 1995. And it's called Good Night Little Rock. We got a new record coming out here pretty soon in October. We got some little cards over there. We don't have like vinyl or anything yet, but it's coming soon. We got some little cards over there at the merch table if you want to grab one. See my good friend Mike De La Cruz. Where are you, Mike? There he is. Don't fucking jump down. There he is. There he is. Mike's going to hook you up. All right, this is a new one. We've been putting out some songs from this new record kind of all year. We got a few out now, and some more coming here soon. This one uh, we put out a few weeks ago. It's called Damage Control. <laughs> Some night of magic 
Thank you. All right, this next song is off a record I made a few years ago called West Coast Town. I always tell this little story about, um, among other things, when you're married, your wife doesn't really listen to any of your music that you're involved. Anything, if you have anything to do with anything, podcast, you know what I mean? Solo records, whatever it is. And I don't expect, and I get it, and I don't blame her, and any married fucking men out there know what I'm talking about, I get it. She's got to live with me all the time. It's like, she don't want to fucking listen to that shit, too, you know what I mean? Anyway, so I made this record a few years ago, and, you know, I just wrote a bunch of songs, whatever, and it's a bunch of, about a bunch of bullshit. You know, just random shit. You sort of songwriting, you pull from stuff all throughout your life. It's not like some specific, well, it has to be. It's only from this time period. Anyway, I left these advanced copies on my desk one day of my record, and she read through it, and she gave me a very hard time about this next song. Because, you know, she pretty quickly, she's like, shit, this isn't fucking about me. Who are you writing this about? Anyway, the song's called Room 102. And for the first time, I think since I wrote this song, we went and checked into the hotel. I'm actually staying in Room 102. I called my wife and meet her. I was like, guess where I am? <laughs> The party, I just want to make clear, is in room 101. Yeah! Don't be fucking coming by room 102, all right? I'm fucking sleeping. Yeah! But there's some other people on the tour that probably want to hang out with you. Yeah! Anyway, I'm going to dedicate this to my, to my beautiful wife. Yeah! I'll take a shot and a beer back, please. Last night brought me to my knees. I need your love and sympathy But all I got is this empty stool in me I guess you left around 2 a.m. Said you was leaving with your girlfriend But you went straight home to him Bartender, please sit up again You really come back to my hotel room Staring at your picture fading in blue Tonight I'm dragging about me and you I don't know when I'll be here again It's not so easy being just your friend But if you want me to, I'll pretend I'll be here waiting more than one last slow day Same old story since we first met we break our hearts every chance we get Neon lights turn to regret Hey baby, if it ain't just too late Yeah, I'm all alone in my hotel room Look at the over right here in the 102 Next thing you cares, but like a low sick fool Tonight I'm dressed Till all my inhibition fall Like a hand grenade in my paw Pull the pin and it may the call I'm all alone in my hotel room Broke and hung over right here in the 102 Texting your desperate like a lovesick fool Tonight I'm taking about me and you Tonight I'm taking about me
guess my dad was a good man Well, at least he tried Never took shit from anybody All he owned was his pride Joined the U.S. Navy To run away from home Gave the world the middle finger Then he died alone And he said, hey Everything you've been told Hang on to that fool's go Hey, hey, hey Hey, hey, hey Mama, I apologize I can't listen no more I lost the will to agonize Scattered on the floor And my heart is like an abandoned house On a cold of sag in a desert ghost town Where the rain don't fall in an endless drought The dust chokes the bottom till the love dies out Hey, before you get old You've been falling in so Believe everything you've been told Hang on to that fool's go again. Oh, the 
Thank you. You guys having a good time tonight? Oh, yeah. Like, this is so great, for real. We, uh, we haven't done shows for a little while. Like, I think, what, since, like, the spring or something like that? It's been a minute. And we booked these shows. We played Nevada last night. We played here tonight. Santa Cruz tomorrow night. Easy drives, fucking great crowds. This is like, I mean, for real, like, we, we never know what, what to expect going somewhere when, when you never played there before. And this is, like, fucking amazing. You got a good scene here. You should give it up for Brian. Give it up for your man Brian that puts it, I don't know where, he's over there somewhere. If every day on tour could be like today, we drove, it was like an hour to get here, easy. Got here nice and early, came in, loaded in. Club's nice. Brian's like, hey, you wanna go surfing? We're like, sure. Do you have boards for it? Yeah, we got boards, we got wet, we got everything you need. Go down to the beach. It's just like playful, beautiful, sunny day. Fucking heaven. I'm here to tell you, that does not happen often on tour. <laughs> not what it's like when you're in like fucking Poughkeepsie in the winter. No sorry, Bob. Oh shit, here he comes! Ah! I dropped in on him at the fucking uh, beach. He's gonna kill me. Not many people come on tour and want to go surf. So first of all, like, what, what do you want? He says, "Yeah, five ten. I'm a five fucking ten. What are you, a fucking twelve year old?" And I had a five. No, I'm short. That's the problem. So he rode my 5'9 that I rode like 200 years ago. But anyway, today, <clears throat> today is my buddy Scott Meyer's birthday. He, he died a couple weeks ago on top of Montana Mountain, and I told the boys about it. And it's his birthday today, and uh, it's a devastating situation for our community, for this bar. He was a fucking legend. He was cutting a mountain bike trail on top of Montana Mountain for everyone. For no one to use. So stop riding the fucking thing. But anyway, today's a real special day. My good friend Tom Hoppe got me Chris Shiflett and his band to come play tonight. It's a really big deal. So you're damn right we're going surfing, Chris. This next song's kind of fitting as a tribute to Brian's friend Scott. So raise a glass for Scott. I didn't know, but he sounds like a fucking awesome dude. I'm gonna uh, do this song for him. Now, I put this song out not too long ago, and you know, it's 2023, so everyone wants to get upset about shit all the time that they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you, the song ain't what you fucking think it is. And the tone of it, if it seems callous, is intended to be reflect how when you know we've all lost a lot of fucking friends and uh and it's a pitch but you just fucking you gotta like keep fucking moving you know so it's that thing of like you know you fight you fucking hurt inside but you gotta just keep fucking going so you just kind of brush it off but obviously it's fucking killing you inside you know what i'm saying this song's called dead and gone Just another old friend that now 
This young man's never been on the road before. This is his second night as a guitar tech. Look at him go. He's doing a great job. That's my friend Charlie. He's so much better than Salar. <laughs> we took our old guitar tech surfing. Charlie's also never surfed before in his life until today, so give it up for him for that. Very, very adventurous. Our former guitar tech, we took him surfing uh, when we were down in uh, Lucadia a while back. And we, find, we go like, hey, shuffle your feet when you get out there. Shuffle your feet. He's like, okay, and he goes, boop, boop, bam, hit by a stingray. Three steps into the fucking ocean, hit by a stingray. First time the guy's ever surfed in his life. Yeah, he's, he's, he survived, don't worry. He goes like, huh? It's like the locals in fucking Lucadia, man. Can't fuck with that shit. All right, this is another song that I put out a little while ago. And it's better when you folks sing along with us. It's called Long, Long Year. Here we go. Yeah. 
together have moved back. It's been a long, long year, ain't it? It's been a long, long year, ain't it? or something. Yeah. There's like a dance floor over there. The dance floor is supposed to be over here, man. Let's get that shit, bring that shit down front, get these people grooving. I can see it. I can see it. You guys are great over here. I just want to make that clear. They're just great -er over there. You know what I mean? Look at them. They're having a good time. Come on. <laughs> Come spill your drinks on these folks. <laughs> well, if this doesn't catch a groove, and I don't know what will. This one's called Black Top White Lines. To Jesus in a Pontiac. Holy Saint seen Jimmy in a week or two. Only then, only she knows. Damn, too. Done enough time for well, letting Jimmy live. Well, that felt like a crown, so it's black time. And they move my right hands with the shovel. Oh, 
fuck. That was a fucking mouthful, man. Jesus. Oh, you know what? I actually, uh, I need something different. I forgot to tell you. They see, that's my bad. I need a capo. Hold on one sec while I capo this shit up. This, uh, this next song is off a record that we put out in, uh, I don't know when we put it out, 2019 or something. But I wrote the song. I wrote the song in around like 2016 or 2017, something like that. And it seemed like everything was all fucked up in the world. Everyone was mad at each other all the time. Yelling at each other on Twitter and all that shit. And so it seemed fitting for the time, and I just thought, well, you know, this is probably going to seem really dated in a few years. But who the fuck know the world would just get crazier and fucking crazier and fucking crazier. So this one gets a little more true every single day. It's called This Old World.
Because when the whole world's fucking mad at each other, just play really loud guitar solos. That's what I say. That's one of those songs that's just kind of written just to play solos. I think it needs another set. There's only three solo sections. Stretch out that last one. Another solo. Which I don't know if you know, there's a new, uh, a hot new guitar podcast that's sweeping the internet. <laughs> it's called Shred with Shifty. I mean, I'm partial to it. You know what I mean? Hey, you know what? Give it up for the fucking band. Give it up for my band. This fine gentleman right here. Mr. Fox Fagan on the bass guitar. The Thunder from Down Under. By way of England. And this guy right here. I don't know if you know this, Vicky Bond. This gentleman, I've, I've known this guy since right about the time I moved to Los Angeles when I was a young buck trying to make it in the big city. We were in a glam rock band called the Lost Kittens. He used to have hair all the way down to his ass. He was a beautiful man. Tight jeans. Cut off sleeve t-shirt, the whole thing, man. It's the end of the 80s. Music was shit, you wouldn't understand. You weren't there. Look at him go, that's Robert Jolly on the drums, keeping it all together. All right, this is a little boogie woogie number called Marfa on my mind. Hit it, Robert. I wanna see you motherfuckers dancing over there. <laughs> They're just too damn good. Woo! Woo! 
Any of you folks got kids out there? Any parents? There's kids here tonight. You look too young to be in this rock concert, my friend, but I'm glad you're here. Is this all ages? Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry. I was about to say, Brian, pull this young man's ID. I think he's in here on a fake one. I think I caught one. I wrote this song when my son was 14. And I wrote it for him to give him some fatherly advice. Because I made the, uh, I made the mistake of thinking that he was going to make all the dumb mistakes that I made. So he had his first girlfriend, you know, when he was about 14. I was like, oh, man. So cute. But he's going to get his little heart broken. So I wrote this song, like, to try to, like, you know, words of wisdom. And then as soon as I fucking wrote it, he fucking broke up with her. He was the heartbreaker. That never happened to me when I was in high school. I was the one with the broken heart. This one's called Welcome to Your First Heartache. Fresh instrument, young Charlie. out there. It's from my new album. It's coming out soon. 
It's a love song for my wife. It's called Overboard. I'm still drunk in last night's clothes. So, so what? I got ashes on my blanket and I'm hurting in my guts. I'm blind. The sun's like lightning in my eyes. I pull out a plastic lighter, drop the needle just in time to fall apart. Just a melody and a broken heart Stack of pills, a couple of pills I hope the bottom is the hardest part And I'm still drunk, still in love, still not enough Try to sleep it off, now I'm waiting for the one that's had enough She's had enough, and I'm still drunk Yeah, I'm still drunk They ain't around Gonna watch me breaking down Hold to the fall Like a live fist in my arm A lot of smoke and walk outside Stop calling the tree mine
There might be some Merle Haggard fans in the crowd tonight. I gotta tell you, we're trying to, we're playing Bakersfield next weekend. If you're not busy, Saturday night, Bakersfield. Take a little road trip. Tough town for selling tickets, you know what I mean? The US is, it ain't gonna be like this unless you guys show up, you know what I mean? Anywho, we're playing fucking Bakersfield. And I don't know if you know what the Bakersfield sound is. But that's like the, you know, the, the, the root of, you know, fucking everything that's fantastic about West Coast country music. So we have to learn a couple Merle Haggard songs. So if you don't mind, we're going to try one out on you tonight because we're just trying to figure out how to fucking play it because it's, it's Merle Haggard, you know what I mean? I'm going to dedicate this one to my band because they are unofficially known as the Honky Tonk Nighttime Men. This is called Honky Tonk Nighttime Man by Mr. Merle Hagger. Let's go. Today. Had the blues this morning. Had the blues all day today. 
So, uh, I don't have a whole lot of country music, and I, I've been like, I need more country. We do a lot of bluegrass, I love bluegrass. We do a lot of hip hop, right? Reggae's, reggae's out of this world, reggae's everywhere. Punk rock, we got a lot of punk rock. These guys are so country. They're so country and country was not cool. So I just spoke with Chris and he said, if these fucking people will fire up, we'll come back up for a couple more songs. You guys wanna hear Chris Shefflet in the band again? I said, do you guys wanna hear Chris Shefflet in the band again? <laughs> Mr. Hey, Mr. Shifflet. And let me tell you, when you do music shows with, with, with rock stars and people, it gets really hard when the people aren't cool. But Mr. Shiflet and his band, these are really cool people. I'm honored and privileged to have them. Thank you, Mr. Chris Shiflet. Thank you, Mr. Bryant. And thank you, Half Moon Bay. Song. You want to hear a stone song? Yeah. This one's called Dead Flowers.
much fun. I don't want this to end. That, that's why you guys got to come down to Santa Cruz tomorrow night. Mo's Alley. It's like, what, an hour? It's not far? Come on. We'll just keep it going. I'm telling you, the party's in room 101. That's Fox's room. It's going to go all night, roll it right into Mo's Alley tomorrow, you know what I mean? All right, we got one more song for you fine folks. You guys have been fucking great. Thank you. And it's the title track from a record I put out a few years ago. And I wrote it about my hometown, Santa Barbara. But it could be written about any fucking beach town in California. So there's a fucking through line through all of them, if you know what I mean. This one's called West Coast Town. Thank you so much, Half Moon Break. We'll see you soon. Every Saturday night, mariachi's played. I listen to the window while the low riders sway. I grew up in a West Coast town, back before the chase. You work and pass out. You know we don't fuck around where I grew up in a West Coast town. July led Betty Beach, saw air digging in my lungs so deep. I chased her all night and she couldn't see. It was paradise, but I had to leave. Yeah, I grew up in a West Coast town, back with all the chase and work pass out. You know we don't fuck around where I grew up. In a West Coast town. For the chase of work and glass out You know we don't fuck around where I grew up Yeah, I grew up in the West Coast town Now before the chase of work and glass out You know we don't fuck around where I grew up In the West Coast town In the West Coast town
Thank you for that.